Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today I went on a Vanilla Elver server and we're going to do a huge progression, some PvP and some base raids. If you guys want to see more Vanilla Elver videos, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 300 likes. Subscribe if you haven't already, each one helps the channel grow its own. Also we're going to roll a mythical giveaway and it's a soul shattered blue monster key. To enter the sexy mythical giveaway, make sure to like, subscribe and comment whatever you want below. All channel members have a higher chance to win and I also want to give them all a huge shout out as well as channel member gifters. And without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the video. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I am on a brand new Elver server. Now I have never played on the server before, so what we're going to do, obviously, is we're gonna try to build a base, we're gonna try to get ourselves some high tier loot, we gotta do a hard beacon, gotta go to the dead zone. The usual, usual, pretty much. I just wanted them all, so I'm gonna loot here really quickly. It is a vanilla server, there is no home, there is no TPA, and the loot is pretty much all normal. It has been a while since I've played a server like this, especially full vanilla. Now we're gonna pick up literally everything because everything is useful on this map. Right, so this server is, I don't think I've mentioned it yet, but it is my server. Now it has been released some time ago, there were a lot of people playing it. Right now it is a bit chill, which is okay, it is quite early in the morning. And if you guys do want to play on this server, the IP port and everything will all be in the description below. And looks like we got ourselves a wisp, let's go. Now I have been told by some people that have been playing on the server that there are quite a ton of base raids. And later on, one of those guys will actually join and team with me so I'm not going to be solo. He did play on the server a bit before so he might actually have made some progression but I still want to pretty much do everything myself. Now after here we're gonna go to the military base, maybe from there there's a mega zombie. If there is that that's really good. So I've been looting mall and the construction site a bit, got myself pretty much just a pistol and some ammo for it, nothing really that special unfortunately. But if there will be people around there, then we will be actually a bit prepared. I did get myself a high cal box as well, which is pretty nice. We gotta farm those for sure. Now, after I finish the base, the next step would probably be getting all of the key cards. Now, I am extremely familiar to know where the key cards are. I've played this a million times. Alright, so I just finished looting the prison as well. Was hoping to get myself a shotgun, but we didn't. The only thing I got that's good was a police helmet. Alright, so there's actually a mega zombie here. And let's reload to get ourselves the big boy pistol. Let's clear these zombies first. Hopefully I have enough ammo actually. Because this guy does take a while to die. But if we do kill him, we're gonna get ourselves a ton of XP, so which is something that we need. Alright, I've already put like 60 shots into him. And he hit me, nice. Alright, yeah, he's gonna turn around now, so let's med up. I did make myself some dressings. Alright, he's gonna go back again. Oh, wait, he's stuck. Great, perfect. Alright, and he's dead. Alright, so we got ourselves a parachute, uh, two tusks, high cal. Alright, well, I was hoping for a mesh, to be honest, but that's not too bad, I guess. Alright, we'll take the parachute, obviously. And I will take one of the tusks and strip the other one, because I don't have that much space. And we're gonna go and start building a base. Either a takeover somewhere. We'll salvage the stock as well. We'll take the bed. And we could drop those for now. Let's take the high cal. And let's take the food, obviously. Alright, looks like... Yeah, this is perfect, actually. I found myself a 2 by one with some crates. All I need is a door, which is not a problem at all. And I have myself a pretty much a one by one base that is ready. I do have myself a green bed. I did have a white bed and then I put some green dye to it. Make ourselves a, a small base. I'm gonna team with this man. This is the guy that I was talking about earlier. We're gonna duo. I'm gonna put all of the cans in here because for those to actually be used I need a blowtorch and currently I don't have one. Put the generator there as well. Alright, so next I'm gonna run around the map. If there's a landmark where there's a keycard, I am going to get it. And the zombie just dropped a mesh. Alright, well, that's something you don't really see every day. I didn't even know that was possible, to be honest. Uh, let's go, there's a U-phone here. Obviously, I'm gonna start to need to craft components. We need U-phones, the batteries, and the gyroscopes. Alright, so my teammate here is actually full thick. He gave me a, a military backpack, thank you, and night vision, nice. So we're trying to farm defibrillator batteries. Unfortunately, we didn't even get one yet. Now, pretty soon, he's going to take me to his base. He said he wants to give me some load. I guess he's just giving me a, a starting hand. Alrighty, so this is his base. He has, what? what is this, a two floor, two by two full metal, which is actually pretty nice on full vanilla, to be honest. Yeah, well, I'm still gonna probably stay at my area, though. Oh, cloth pack. Oh, he's gonna give me a, a room key. Nice, alright. That's kinda epic. Oh, he's dropping mesh and radios. A jackhammer as well, blowtorch. Oh, he dropped a mosca, too. I mean, currently I'm with a pog, so a mosca is definitely much better. Oh, defibrillator batteries. Alright, well, that's kinda what we need, to be honest. Alright, so this man offered to give me quite a ton of items, and I did take some items in order to craft components, so huge shout out to him. It will definitely be very, very helpful. Obviously, since we're a team now, 
If we do get to raid the base or any of that, then he will take probably all of the loot. So at the same time, it's going to be like a team effort. Now I'm gonna go back to base. We're gonna continue taking all of the key cards. I, I did take a couple already, but we still got some areas where we need to go. All right, so we got the red key card. I think this is the last one that I actually needed as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I should have literally everything in order to craft myself the Gauss Mask, right? Yes, sir. All right, we got ourselves a Gauss Mask. Let's go. Progress. So next, we're going to probably just head straight to the dead zone. All right, I am back in my little one by one base. I did craft myself an extra filter, which is all I have for now. My teammate has just the Gauss Mask. He doesn't have any extra filters. So what we're going to do is we are going to split the dead zone. I'm going to go to one side of the dead zone. My teammate will go to the other. That way, we will do it quicker and we wouldn't need to use all of our filters, basically. Now, what I'm really hoping for is either a heat wave, items to craft more components, gunpowder, that's literally it. Or even a rebel, to be honest. There's a high chance we're gonna get a rebel, to be honest, especially if, like, where they spawn inside those glass containers or whatever they are. If we don't get any of those, then it would be a huge waste, and I would be very, very disappointed. And there's a mega zombie as well, actually. And he hit me. I don't understand how he hits me when I'm literally jumping away. Alright, let's med up. My teammate is using a pendiculator, but he is, uh, pretty far away. Alright, he did- Alright, he's dead, let's go. And he dropped- Wait, let's go the zombies. Savage that vest. Alright, so this man dropped a grenade the Tusk, Kaikel, and Low Caliber Ammo are uh, pretty bad in my opinion. Uh, very, very bad. These Megas today aren't actually being helpful at all. Alright, dead zone time. Come on, give me some good loot. Well, ammo, a blowtorch, we do need that. Let's break all of these. What do we get? Sniper ammo, assault rifle ammo, pendiculator, and another sniper ammo. Not too bad. I was hoping for the big boy high caliber crates, but that's alright. Fully decked out Paug, a scope. Let's get ourselves some attachments as well. If we get raider stocks, which we did, that's literally the best stock in the whole game. Alright, there's a steely over here, actually. We'll take that just in case we find the heli. Graphics card, let's go. U phones. This is what I really need, to be honest. Two phones, there we go, defibrillator batteries Take the can as well, that's for scrap Alright, so I cleared the blue room, next we're going to go straight into the purple gunpowder, perfect That's one explosive There's a pickaxe as well, we don't really need that Alright, usually up here gunpowder spawns, but I'm waiting for XP Alright, there's a jackhammer, that's not too bad Since I got one, I'm actually going to get myself a couple of magenta crystals Maybe from there we can make some cyan And start upgrading the base Actually build the base Alright, let's get a couple, I'm not gonna take too much, just only a couple for now Alright, so next I'm gonna go to the red room Alright, so I'm gonna pop my filter My teammate is still in here, which is bad because he doesn't have any extra filters Yeah, he's running a medding, right? Yeah, Alright, well he did loot the red room by the way And he did get myself some thick clothes, which I will take And this alarm has bugged, nice Oh, he's still in here, looting man Bro, what ha what's going on? Can this shut up? Oh yeah, it actually did bug Alright, I think it's time to get out of here, we did pretty much loot everywhere My teammate's running and using medkits, which I don't know how much he has Hopefully he has enough Wait, where is he going? He's going the wrong way. And these zombies are so strong as well. And my teammate died. Right, I'm gonna go pick up his loot really quickly then. If only this alarm would shut up, to be honest. Right, we gotta find this loot pile as well. Oh, it's right over here. Right, let's kill this dude. Right, he's dead. Alright, well, I'm gonna take the important items, obviously. The pendiculates. Oh, he has a heat, he has a heat wave as well. Ayo. Right, I'll take the heat wave for sure. Alright, we'll take the thick backpack as well. Man, I'm gonna have to drop some of my stuff as well. Alright, so my teammate is here. I'm giving him his stuff back. He did have a gunpowder as well. Night vision. Now, I obviously didn't get everything. And I don't think I will be able to go inside to get the remaining. Because I do not have a high percentage in my filter. But I did get him pretty much what he needs. I'm gonna check how much I have, actually. Yeah, no. I don't think I'll actually make it. But what's, met what's important is that we did get the Duke gunpowder. We did get ourselves the Rebel and the Heat Wave. Which is literally probably the best three items that you can get from a dead zone. So I am pretty happy with that. All right, so next probably our idea is to do a horde beacon. Now for that, we're going to require lots of ammo and a lot of medication and a lot of medication as well. So we're going to start salvaging all of clothes and getting as much ammo as possible. So I did make myself a couple of lockers in my base. It's starting to get a bit cramped up, but I do have quite a ton of metal. So I am probably going to start building my own metal base very close to here. I'm going to put all of the items that I don't need in here as well, especially the gunpowder, graphics card, need some magenta crystals, and I need some space for the rebel as well, there we go, new phones, to put the military idea over there, more storage, there's a mega zombie as well, he is dead, play something important man, let's kill that zombie, now, what, alright, they were all clothes and the grenade, I mean hey, we do need meds, so I'll take it, I'm farming as much metal as possible, gotta start building base, 
Alright, so this is what I have built till now, a 2x1. Alright, so we spent pretty much the whole night just preparing for the horde. Now, we have decided we're gonna use the heat wave. It literally is one shot headshot towards all zombies, so... 120 do spawn, so maximum what we can use is 120. And hopefully we'll get more ammo in return, basically. Now, I'm going to craft the horde beacon right now as well. I should have literally everything. I need to make myself components first as well. Yeah, I still need to get crafting tree, but that's okay. It's very easy to get. All right, boys, horde beacon time. Hopefully we are well prepared. Now, it's my teammate's first time doing a horde beacon all ever, so hopefully he does well as well. I'm kind of scared, to be honest. First, I'm gonna use the pug, and then we'll switch over to the heat wave after I run out of ammo. And there's a mega zombie already spawned in. I, I saw a rock being thrown. Nice, probably that means that somebody was trying to do a horde beacon and then died to it. So we're gonna have to kill two mega zombies this horde. Let's go. Alright, these should be the last few zombies. Alright, now it popped, there was the last one. Hopefully we got ourselves the ammo in return because I had to use some ammo from the heat wave. Maybe some gunpowder too. Uh, Alright, yeah, perfect. How much? Like, there's three gunpowder already. There's like 600 high caliber shots. I'm really, really happy with this one. We got ourselves another rebel. A couple of circuit boards, Moscow Pendiculator, Hellcat, and some magenta crystals. I'm really happy with this horde beacon. We definitely profited heavily. Now next we're gonna start doing some insane base raids. Well, an airdrop is passing literally by. My airdrop landed, uh, one mesh, that's good, high caliber, and a bunch of guns, nothing that good though. The mesh and high cal is what I guess is decent. Hey, oh, wait, what? There's a guy here. He's dead, he had high cal, some cans, nothing that good, he had a bulk. My guy was just chilling, he was just AFK, I think. Alright boys, inside base raid time now. This base is actually on top of a bunker, so we're gonna try to go towards where the bunker entrance is, and we'll go down. This box is almost out. Ah, yeah, we are true, actually. All right, there's a wooden wall here, perfect. That's probably where the entrance is. Now, a lot of people actually do this tactic, it's kind of genius, where they build a base on top of the entrance for the bunkers. It takes a lot to raid, especially if it's all crystallized and more metal. Yeah, now we gotta break the floor, probably. Hopefully, it's the correct floor, to be honest. Yeah, I assume it's this one, though. Alright, first box is out. Hopefully we have enough ammo actually. We might have to grind even more. Yeah, we're true. And it looks like a crystallized vault door, nice. This one is gonna take us quite a while to go through for sure. Alright, then it finally broke. But obviously, there's even more that we gotta break. That took us quite a lot actually. We don't have that much ammo left. And what is this? It's probably a vault door. Alright, and I am completely out of sniper ammo and high caliber. Let's go. Now we do have the explosive still. I have the three gunpowder from the horde and then we have like two more. So we gotta go get those. Alright boys, so we've been grinding for a while. I did get myself enough ammo for one full high caliber box. But we also got ourselves two explosives. For now we can't make any more explosives because we need more components. But that's okay. We'll make them later. And we're gonna go back to that base. And we are through. Yeah, we just need like five bullets. And looks like... Couple of lockers, more lockers here. There's not even any beds. Could be like at the very top of that base though. The floor where we didn't trade. Alright, let's raid these lockers. Alright, they did break. Looks like a bunch of crystals. Uh, okay. A bunch of gyroscopes, drill, pendiculators. Oh, yeah, we can make components now at base. That's what we needed. Heavy barrel too. Alright, let's raid these lockers next. Alright, these broke, looks like. A bunch of sentry parts, another rebel. Yeah, I think we can make a sentry as well. We got a deflection, grenades, u phones. Alright, well, if this is all that's in it, though, I don't think we actually made profit from this. We did get ourselves some nice items in return, though. Well, alright, everybody, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you guys want a part two, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!